You know what I mean? We got a cherry soda there. Oh my God. You got another cherry soda here. Look at these porch. This is crazy. <gasps> ah! 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 What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video, and today we're going to watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's go check this out. It's time! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Got my you have got to be kidding me. Don't tell me he's going to make this punch bowl in a sink. Ice in their homeboy. Now let's mix. This is the sink. We got limes, strawberries, lemons, oranges, fruit salad. Now we gonna. I would normally, I mean, he just created a mess and I would normally point that out. But the fact is the fruits that he's putting into this sink is actually going to be dirtier than the fruits that fell on the floor. Some vodka, some tequila, okay. Let's go together. I got box wine. We need to get that there too. Okay, so I got my box wine running on that side. I got another box on this side, okay? <laughs> Guys, you got to multitask if you got So you got plastic bottle vodka, plastic bottle tequila, and sweet box wines in this sink. That's probably full of salmonella. Now coming in with some coconut rum. Perfecto. Guys, this is sink in case you're curious, okay? This is the only thing that had enough space to hold what we wanted to do, amen. What are you talking about? You did the same thing with a bathtub. And that bathtub was way, way bigger than this. Got my Everclear. Tornado time. Got another Everclear. Woo! Got a vodka! Woo! Why are you putting vodka on Everclear? Everclear is just high proof vodka. If you're gonna put Everclear, you don't need to put vodka unless you're intentionally diluting it. But then you have the ice to do that. The ice will melt and the water will dilute it. So why is he putting both Everclear and vodka? Got a silver rum! Woo! Got another rum! And all the ice is melting because this is not an insulated container so it's gonna melt and it's already disgusting and unsanitary and you could probably get salmonella poisoning from it and whatever other mold is going under the drain cover and on top of that it's gonna be over diluted as we can see here now got my peach snaps got another peach snaps it's a different brand got a triple set why do you need two different brands of peach schnapps like what does that do and you know, mix it with all these different things. It's not like anyone drinking this is going to be able to differentiate that there are two different brands of peach knobs in this. Just to make it right. Got a vodka to just help bring them home. Well, I pour some out. I let some spill. Of course, you always pour stuff out. You just notice that right now. <laughs> You're the tipsy bartender. That's your thing. You make a mess. Uh, my house is always water, okay? So this is a wine punch, guys. Those of you who don't know what this is. Of course, he's putting his fingers where the punch is coming out. I know that the sink is unsanitary to begin with, but at least make some effort to make this a little bit sanitary. It's another wine punch. And we got another wine punch. Why not just open everything if you're gonna dump everything in? Plan ahead! You know what I mean? We got a cherry soda there. Oh my god. You got another cherry soda here. Look at these porch. This is crazy. <gasps> ah! 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 I've mentioned this many, many times, but when you have carbonated beverages, you need to chill them. Because when they're at room temperature, or if they're warm, the carbonation would just blow over. This is common sense. And he's made this mistake many, many times, and he hasn't learned what a thing. thing. I'm soaking soda, okay? I'm gonna be sticky as hell tonight as I jump in bed, because I try to conserve water. I'm an environmentalist once a week. White claws, guys, for those of you who like. Why do you put soft drinks, and then you're gonna put hard seltzers? 
why not just put the white claw? Like, why put both soft drinks and hard seltzers? That defeats the purpose of the soft drinks. You're just diluting it. <laughs> How about a little bit of lemon lime salt? Okay. Why would you put cherry seven up and now you're putting regular seven up? This makes no sense. Lemon lime salt. Okay. Stuff is zero sugar because we need to make it healthy. Thank you. Thank you. So not only do you already put cherry 7-Up, this one is sugar-free. This makes no sense. Why would you put regular 7-Up and cherry 7-Up with sugar-free 7-Up? Does he even know what he bought? Or he just put some random stuff in his shopping cart and now realizing it, there's no thought process in this. The orange drink and yeah, you know. What is so wine? <laughs> Box wine never ends, homeboy. Yeah, I get a balance, you know what I mean? Why not just take the bags out if you're gonna pour it all out like that? Strawberry, lemonade, sun kiss. Does it matter? Does it matter at this point? Huh? No. <laughs> Spatial awareness. If you're done with those boxes, why are they still there? Clear your work area. Like I said before, this is already unsanitary enough, but at least still make an effort to make each step as sanitary as possible. It doesn't need to be more dirtier than it is already. Oh yeah, got my cup. And there you have it home, boy. The whole yeah, please don't tell me that he's actually gonna drink this. Like of all the unsanitary practices, you also risk getting things like salmonella poisoning and other types of mold that potentially could be living in the drain. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on a comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.